Welcome back. Less than an hour left to get to the polls to cast your vote in McClendon County for the candidates vying for House District 56 seat, formerly held by Charles Doc Anderson. Six News reporter Mike Rogers was out at the polls in McClendon County earlier today for us, and he joins us now in studio with the very latest. Mike, what'd you find out? Yeah, Chris and Lindsay, just an hour left in the final push for support for both Pat Curry and Debbie Duke to make their case as voters will select who will represent the Republican Party in the general election come November. The signs and the candidates front and center at polling places across McLennan County. I think we need to close the border down and assess and vet what we have here. Debbie Duke, the candidate endorsed by former Representative Charles Doc Anderson to take his place in the House, says the U.S.-Mexico border has become a national security crisis. And she supports finishing a border wall in the state and wants those here illegally deported. We've let tens of thousands of military-age men in um, uh, and known terrorists in from 165 different countries. We have children and, and women being trafficked and, and drugs. Duke adding that legal immigration is a step in the right direction. Pat Curry says securing the border is a top priority of his as well. On the issue of school funding and property taxes, he says the state should be footing more of the bill killing two birds with one stone. We need bigger property tax cuts. We need to make sure that it goes through, but the, it, it starts with getting some of the state surplus and funding our schools properly in the first place. On education, Curry says supporting teachers through higher pay and ironing out the details of school financing will also be issues he will address. It takes business people, it takes people that have sense, that, that pay those taxes, that, that are involved in the schools, that are involved in the community to be able to take that message back. And for Duke, it's not slowing the growth of property taxes, but reducing them by any means necessary that she wants to see. I would eventually hope that we come up with a formula to phase out property taxes so that you can truly own your own home that you've paid for. Duke and Curry today making their last minute pitch alongside Sheriff Parnell McNamara and challenger Jeff Aguirre. And if you haven't made it out to vote in McLennan County just yet, there's still time as polls will, polls will close at 7 p.m. Chris and Lindsay. Yeah, tick tock, tick tock. Got to do right. it now or wait till Tuesday. Thanks, Mike.